Thanks, ladies. Kicked off Medicaid, struggling to make that college dream come true. These real strugglers are what one of our remar remarkable women tackles each day. Meet Selena Smith. I meet a lot of people that haven't had insurance in like 12 years, 26 years, and they're like, I didn't even know that this was something that was available to me. Selena Smith says she's been helping people navigate the world of health care, parenting, college, and more. My family tells me I'm named after my great-grandmother, and she used to make sure that everyone in the neighborhood was fed. Regardless if they had food or not, they could come to her house and they could get fed. So I think that's how I became a community connector. Managing health care can be overwhelming. That's why Selena says she's enjoyed coaching people through it. We do find that it may just be that their, their initial application was filled out incorrectly, so they may qualify for the Medicaid or they may qualify for a free plan. So South Carolina has different resources based on our state where if you're under a certain income, a lot of people don't know, you can actually get a credit and it'll pay towards your health care. So most of the people that I've helped, they're either paying zero dollars. I don't really have anyone who's ever paid over $30 a month for health insurance. Selena's pride and joy is her son, who she tells me has worked with her to guide 1,000 students into college. Right now, there are so many who are reaching out to me about, hey, my child wants to go to college. How do I even pay for that? And then showing them, okay, these are some tips and tricks. She uses Facebook, TikTok, and all the platforms that help her connect with families. Lots of parents reach out and then just building that community because people believe that they're the only people who have these problems or have these questions. As we gathered around an inspirational statue in downtown Spartanburg, she reminded me she also has a full-time job. Uh, I am a health equity strategist, so we are looking at those things where, you know, what are those health equities and those disparities that are affecting our communities on a small scale as well as a large scale. Salinas is touched by her nomination as a remarkable woman, as she is by getting results for families in her community. But when they reach back out and they say, hey, we got the apartment, hey, we have the health care insurance, I got the job or we bought our first home, that feeling, oh my gosh, it is next to none. Congratulations to her. Selena hopes to help families in, in the area who lost Medicaid find new options. She's helped 500 families so far and has a personal goal of connecting a total of 5,000 families with new health resources. We will introduce you to our last Remarkable Woman finalist coming up next Tuesday. And then on April 2nd, we'll announce the winner right here on Your Carolina.